disjointed corridors lead from one phase to the next. In one, a stoned man hangs out with Bing Crosby, Kate Bush and a coffee machine. In another, a landscape gardener yells drunken abuse at an Algerian fluent in the language of repetitive sex, while a Scottish biker with invisible arms rides around in circles. On a tangent, an antechamber is busy with a 60-year-old Japanese man proficient in culinary and sponge art. A microphone rests in a microwave, recording some of the best sounds since spliced tape. A brief appearance of a bearded man whose power of attraction lies in his ability to never phone, called, you can't have your cake and eat it. A handsome scribbler offends everyone by drinking black ink and pissing onto pages. A Tom Waits loop is projected onto an LED screen by a Fripp protege. A moog lover plays a theremin and cites Alfonso Lingus. In a side alley, Chowder, Bikes and Bill Murray make Deschamps proud. Shadow puppets of surfers, teachers, writers, travelling doctors, older men on trains are cast like phalluses in Cynthia Albritton's library. Predictable for this kind of exhibition, really. In the main hall, the artist, trapped in resin and rotating on a giant lazy Susan, stares vacantly at installations of wordsmiths, childhood sweethearts and golden-hearted gay men. The caption reads, Don't call me an artist. A trumpeter moans in the background while the crowd is shot for a film clip. A DJ plays 99 red balloons until backs can no longer hold out. One side room is stenciled over and over in different fonts. Married men, married men, married men. This is a popular space. A creeping mechanical piston takes sporadic photographs, commented upon by a political journalist who freelances in wine tasting, Patrick White, old cars and collars. A trio reenacts episodes of the mighty Bouche and Mon Oncle in the far corner. An improviser is moving throughout, always returning to the same place to scoop up a lone kitten into his arms and point out the colour scheme of life. When it's all over, everyone meets for drinks in the bookshop to discuss. The most frequent comment heard is Who curated this shit?